welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, we're going to keep things nice and simple. My front porch has been really needing a refresh. We need to power wash it, clean it up. I, unfortunately, as you guys know, have killed my plants on the front porch too. So we're going to head out to Lowe's, pick up some new flowers to be able to give the front porch a nice refresh for the summer season. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And without wasting any more time, let's head to Lowe's. Okay, so heading into Lowe's, we definitely didn't have a plan of like specific types of flowers. I will be showing the tags for each one that we picked up because there's no way I could pronounce them. But my husband and I both gravitated towards this taller white one and then we just mixed in some complimentary ones as well. They had definitely just restocked this the day before. There was just rows and rows full. We saw this beautiful butterfly as well as we were shopping throughout. But we picked out some purple and pink to complement the wreath I have on the front door. And lastly, we're grabbing this magenta purple kind of floral. Here's my husband being funny. Um, and then checking out and heading home. So as my husband is setting up the pressure washer, I'm just going to take everything off the front porch so that there's nothing in the way blocking us from moving around. Okay, so we have everything cleared off. I moved the rocking chairs over to the side. I took off the wreath. I'm not going to be pressure washing the doors, obviously, because I don't want to be breaking the glass, but everything's going to get wet. So we're going to clean this all up. I swear there's nothing more satisfying than pressure washing something that's gross and like physically seeing the dirt come off. It's kind of hard to tell on the red siding, but we have beige siding on the rest of our house and you can absolutely tell the difference. I was really hoping to get this orange red tinge out of the concrete, but if you live anywhere that has the red clay, you know how horrible it is and it literally stains everything. So I've considered potentially doing a concrete paint. If that is something that you have any experience with, leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts.
I didn't even realize how bad this patch of concrete was. We walk over it every day and I had no idea it was this dirty, but it's super satisfying to watch it all leave now. <laughs> That was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. I'd pressure washed before, but that specific wand is like one that can go 24 feet and it's honestly really hard to get off and we're not done doing our house. So it was easier to just suck it up and hold it, but that was, that was tough. It's definitely, it's gonna look so much better now that I did the area. Um, I'm gonna let it dry. And in the meantime, we are going to fix this is so embarrassing. I'm keeping I'm keeping it real though. We're gonna take these crispy, crispy plants out and do some planting. Yeah, look at look at how dry. Oh, oh man. Let's do some planting. So for the big one, I'm using that Walmart planter I had picked up this spring and adding the taller white floral to the back of it. And then we're gonna be adding two of those lighter pink ones on the sides. I just wanted to say a quick thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. It means so much that you guys show up and support me and leave so many kind comments. It's just so, so wonderful. I sure hope that you enjoy today's video and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. And then for some little filler pieces on the sides of the two pink ones, I'm gonna add these smaller potato vines. This was an idea my husband actually suggested while we were in Lowe's and I totally love the idea of it. So we are gonna be adding three of those. Look at how cute that turned out. I love the addition of the potato vines. This was actually my husband's idea to add the greenery. I love it, it looks so cute. And in this smaller concrete planter that was from Home Goods, we're going to be adding in that really beautiful magenta flower. I love the colors of this one. They're beautiful magenta and purple and it bounces off the pink so nicely in that one. Now we're going to add back the bunny as well as the green and white striped rug that was from Target last year. And this jute braided doormat is from Kirkland's. Now I'm adding back my wreath. This is one that I DIY'd in my spring front porch decorating video and I'm still obsessed with it and the colors of the florals in it perfectly coordinate with the flowers we planted today. And here is a finished look at how everything turned out. I'm so glad that we were able to get at least the front porch done in terms of pressure washing. It's been on our to-do list for quite some time now, so it feels good to get that over with. But I absolutely love how these florals turned out. They are the perfect touch for the summer season.
I sure hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.